hello hello guys so we are going to use not polished og 185 dream seduction and um we're just gonna do a thin not thin but you know i'm gonna do her nails this is my favorite client no i haven't used my um my half hands in a long time so i figured hmm, why not so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do all four fingers with this and then we're going to paint some stuff on the nails and then i'm going to show y'all some pretty uh madame glam um colors that they sent to me that's what i'm going to be painting with madame glam um gel polishes and we're going to do something i think i might maybe paint a couple of gonks with some flowers sound good um so yeah i'm sorry i've been like i've been missing um a couple of weeks i mean last week i had covid and then my kids they are getting sick one by one like it's springtime everything's blooming it's always something lately it's always it's always something always something so yeah um today i'm also going to use this brush that i won um mm, it's a number 12 king kalinsky I'm gonna, um, I won this from Luen Dang um, on YouTube. He's like one of my favorite nail techs. I'm gonna link his um, stuff down in the um, description box. But um, I love this brush. I've only used it once, but so far I love it. It's bigger than I usually get, but um, yeah, I just use smaller beads. But, um, I'm loving it. Like, I really, really like it. So, let's start. Let's start doing this. <clears throat> now, let's keep in mind that um, I haven't done nails in a long time. So, I might be rusty. <laughs> I might be rusty. But I'm, I am going to start. I say this every time that I'm going to start getting back. Hopefully, hopefully, I can get back, uh, you know, in the swing of things soon. Because... I really miss doing this. Let's start off small. I feel awkward. <laughs> I feel awkward holding uh, the nail brush. And that's the bad thing about, you know, taking a break from doing nails. Like, because if you, you know, don't do them for a while, it's, it, it's like not, usually this is like second nature to me, you know. But it's because I'm always, I'm usually always doing it. But now it's been a month, a few weeks at least. So uh, it feels weird to be uh holding the brush again it could be but too, it could be too because of the glove the um glove that i'm wearing right now i'm going to show you in just a second because i have to wear this little cloth glove underneath these gloves until my hands fully heal <clears throat> Let me show you. So I have to wear these cloth gloves. They're for like people who have eczema. They're just some little cloth gloves. And I have to wear it underneath these. They're really, really thin. But um, I have to wear them on this hand um, until my hands heal. I have to wear it. So that way, because um, like this has been going on for some months. And I've been to the hospital two or three times and the doctor a few times also so uh yeah i'm tired i'm tired of suffering my hands like i've never i never thought that you could have so, like so much pain in your fingers like in <sighs> y'all i can't even i can't even explain it it's horrible I, I don't wish that on anybody that was rough 
but the doctor was telling me that your hands and your lips have the most nerve endings in them so anything that like happens with your lips with your hands or your lips is magnified and like the nerves in my hands were like on overdrive because of my hands like kept like getting infected and like they just weren't healing correctly and my my body was trying to protect my fingers so it was like over producing skin but then at the same time like my body was like rejecting it you know what i'm saying like it was bad y'all like it was really bad So today is my kids' last day of school before the for the um Easter break. And uh yeah. I feel like it's awkward for me to be doing this. I feel like I'm not holding my brush correctly. And like I can't, I'm scared to like push because I don't feel like I'm holding it correctly. Does it look weird on camera? Does it look like I'm holding my brush wrong? Because I feel like it. I'm gonna probably have to learn how to do this all over again, like holding my brush. But I think once I get back in, in my, you know behind my desk more once I start like doing because I haven't even been doing I've been doing maybe one person's nails since my hands got infected and she comes every two weeks and that's it that's the only person I've been doing their nails for lately because of my hands I'm gonna put a little bit right here because it's like thin right there and then right here, it looks kind of funny. I use the Not Polish Universal Tips. I'm getting used to wearing this glove. For sure. But I miss doing this. Like, y'all have no idea. But it's like I was just so tired of my hands hurting. And I felt like every time I came sit behind my desk and would put the gloves on to do the nails... It's like I would get set back because my hands would, you know, get infected again. So I had to, like, take, like, a, a real break. Like, no nails and no gloves. Really, it wasn't the nails. It was the gloves. But I didn't want to mess with the chemicals either, you know? Because I, I didn't know. Ex I didn't know for sure what was... I didn't know what was um, causing the reaction for sure. and Well, I know what caused the reaction, but I didn't know, like, because it started off as I had an, aller an allergic reaction to some cheap gloves that I was wearing. Well, then after that, it was um, 
my hands wouldn't heal because the doctor had put me on this um, medicine and it was actually too strong. And so it wouldn't let my, um, my hands heal because it was like, it kept, it was so strong. It was like eating my skin and me like a dummy. I didn't know. I thought, okay, well, it's not, I, I had no idea that it was the cream. I, you know what I'm saying? I thought that it was just like getting rid of the bad skin, but no, really it wasn't. It went in there like my skin would start growing back and I'd leave, I'd put the cream on like the doctor told me to. And, um, man, it was, it was just, my skin was so thin. Like when I tell y'all my skin was thin, like I couldn't even pick up like a brush. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't pick up, a, like I picked up my husband's brush and it was one of them like rough, like brushes you know you know those rough bristle brushes like those hard bristle brushes um and like I picked it up and the way I picked it up like I picked it up from the top and the bristles went through my finger like it was disgusting and it was like just everything just simple things like pulling up my pants um getting my kids just putting on my kids shoes like Oh, God, it was just, it was so, I couldn't do anything without hurting my myself. But my hands are doing so much better, like... They're almost finished healing. I just, I swear, like, I want to say maybe a week, if that. Like, really, they're healed. I just, my hands um, now, because my body was, like, overproducing skin, the skin had got, like, really thick on my fingers. And so, and it was getting so thick that it's, like, my the skin was tight. And I couldn't, like, bend, especially this finger, and every time I would bend it or put it too straight, the skin would like tear. Oh my God. And that would hurt. That was a whole nother thing because that would hurt so freaking bad. And it would be so deep. Like, oh, it was horrible, guys. But, um, so, but I'm finally past that. So right now, now, um, all the extra skin that was on my fingers it's like starting to kind of fall off i guess you could say and um but i can't like take it off myself because if i take it off it'll like rip my real skin you know wait i don't like this beat i just need a little bead Am I putting my head in the way? I can't see. I have my camera like above me so I could try to not keep bumping it. So I can't really see.
Okay, so my friends at Madam Glam sent me over some more colors. So I'm going to swatch these for you real quick and we are going to um, do some painting. So this one is called Maddie. It's a pretty blue. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, Madame Glam gels, like, I'm obsessed with them. They're so creamy and smooth, and they self-level. And um, they are just, uh, I love them. I, I can't, like, tell you enough good things about them. Um, most of them, you only just need one coat. This one is called Fries Before Guys. Um, most of them you just need one coat and um, uh, the ones that do need two coats it's you know you just do two thin coats and they're you know but most of these you just need one coat you know and uh, they come out perfect um, I'm gonna put my uh, pop my coat up here and also I'm going to put a link in the description box and if you click that link, it will bring you directly to the Madam Glam website. And it'll automatically apply, apply my code. All you have to do is pick the pay as you go option instead of the um, VIP membership. And you'll get 30% off. And it'll also help me um, get some more gels so I could... Uh, You know continue my artwork this is called blissfully yours i'm going to get their new um that new east the nut the new uh, the april collection what is it the house of light oh my god i bought last month's um collection what was it called i forgot what it's called i didn't show you on here um because i wasn't really happy with it because really all the colors look the same this is, uh, oh, it's kind of whited out because of the light. But this is a pretty lavender purple, pretty pastel purple. But, yeah, I love Madame Glam. And um, I love when they send me um, gels and my collection, my little collection is growing. This is called Pink Me Up. Oh, of course somebody would not. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to try to paint um, some little spring gonks on the middle finger and the ring finger and a couple little... Um, like daisy looking flowers on the other two fingers and we're gonna call it a day okay because I was supposed to have this video out like two weeks ago but I got COVID and it took me a little hot minute to get over it this time like this one was rough but then my kid like a one or two of my kids got it and then allergies started and my, I was still fighting with my hands it was just this whole big life thing and it just wasn't letting me sit behind my desk and do you know the saying you lose it if you don't use it it goes for doing this also because listen I was struggling y'all I ain't even gonna lie I was struggling. Your girl was on a struggle bus. I live on the struggle bus right now. I'm living on that right now. Yes, indeed. Anyway, so I just mixed up a little pastel blue. Um, I, I mixed that Maddie color blue and um, 
perfect white. Um, I'm using all Madame Glam um, gels, of course. And um, I didn't think it would look good if I outlined the gonks in black because they were like all light colors. So I kind of used, um, like I used blue and I think brown for the outlines. So I don't know. I mean, I still think it came out better than it would have looked if I would have did it black <clears throat> so yeah but I'm not going to talk through this whole thing because I talked a lot already and yeah and I still have the sniffles and my throat you know and I just I was listening to myself talk at the beginning and it's like oh my god I'll sniff like every 30 seconds I'm like oh my god that sounds so not good but anyway, so um, y'all just enjoy this. Um, if y'all have made it this far, uh, hey girl, you are, f thank you so much. Because listen, I know it's hard sometimes, especially, you know, you know, you know, thank you. Um, if you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I haven't been posting that much lately, but I will start soon. So... I won't let you down. I will not let you down. Um, but yeah, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments, please. Um, hold on, somebody wants to tell y'all hi. Here. Hello. Tell them your name. My name is Zofie. <laughs> um, tell them to subscribe. Subscribe always, bro. I'm gonna hit you with a bleak. <laughs> so yeah, what she said. Um, so yeah, I will uh, pop back in at the end, okay?
So today is Thursday, um, the Thursday before Easter. So I probably, I might not have another video out. Wow, I have a cut on my hand. Where did that come from? Anyway, um, sorry, sorry about that. Um, I probably won't have it, another video out before Sunday. So uh, I wanted to tell everybody happy Easter. Um, I hope everybody has a very good weekend. Um, we are going to be boiling crawfish and having a get together at my mother-in-law's, I think, um, with a bunch of family. Um, it's my husband's brother's um, death day, they call it. It's the day he died um, a few years ago. So we kind of all get together and kind of celebrate him as well. Um, and yeah, uh, we have some bad weather coming though. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we're supposed to be boiling some crawfish. And um, yeah, I'll try to record a little bit for y'all so y'all could see um, <clears throat> what a, um, a real Cajun crawfish boil looks like. If y'all would like to see that. Because it's pretty fun. Um <clears throat> Yeah, um, the kids are off from their uh, from school for their spring break, which is uh, <laughs> it, it's good and bad. I kind of get to sleep late, but on the other hand, God, they tear everything up and they eat too much. Y'all, oh my goodness, I'm going to just say this real fast and I'm not ever going to bring it up again. I paid almost $10 for a case of Sprite this morning. $9.30, thank you. Like, what? Whew. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys happy Easter, and uh, I really hope that I get to start recording um, more soon, and um, I'm definitely, definitely going to try, and um, I miss you guys, and I will catch up on, um, you know, all my people's videos. Um, <clears throat> you know, sorry, excuse me. Uh, anyway, so right here I'm just going to do a couple of flowers on each of the nails. Just some little daisy flowers in different colors. Um, and that's it. Nothing really fancy on these. Um, anyway, so again, um, if you haven't um, hit that like bu button yet, please do so. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. And... Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, yeah, what y'all are doing this Easter? Like what y'all doing this weekend? And have you ever tried boiled crawfish? Like Louisiana crawfish. Because I know that some places boil crawfish. But I don't think they're like Louisiana boiled crawfish. Um, I tried them in Florida and in Texas. And they're not the same. They're, it's just not the same. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope y'all like it. Um, don't forget, I'm going to put my link in the description box for you guys. Um, it'll bring you directly to the Madame Glam website. And you hit the pay as you go option um, at checkout. And it will automatically apply the 30% with my code. Um, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, link the brush, my new um, acrylic brush. It's really nice, guys. It's really really nice, like seriously. Um, and I think you could get it. I think you could um, have them pinch it for you too. I know he pinched mine for me. Um, so hold on, hey. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let me go. I, uh, their chicken nuggets are done, and they about to start coming out being loud. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh. anyway. Bye, guys. I hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Waves in opposition. Holden Hiscock is also in opponent. Waves in, in opposition. Anita Dick is an opponent. Waves in opposition. Holden Hiscock is also an opponent. Waves in opposition.
in opposition, Anita Dick is an opponent. Waves in opposition. Holden Hiscock is also an opponent. Waves in, waves in opposition.